Hello everyone and welcome to Green Ring Gaming. I'm here today to show you my new HD PVR 2. Um, I was recording with the HD PVR, but I luckily managed to get my hands on one of these. Um, this is far better than the HD PVR gaming edition that I recently had. That had only components. This one has HDMI uh, to HDMI in and out. It's absolutely perfect. It's a little lifesaver. I'm going to show you a little unboxing of this and we're going to have a look and see what is inside here and I'm also going to show you how to set it up and it's so much easier with this, they give you everything that you need in the box. Uh, I'm going to show you a setup that I'm going to use with my Xbox console and I'm also going to show you the setup that I'm also going to use for my PC as well. Take a look. Okay, so we have the box here. And I'm going to show you everything that's inside this. So let us open it up first of all. Some of it's very difficult to open boxes, but I will do my best. Pull it all out. Well, that's one side. Here's one I made earlier. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is, I believe, pull this bit out. If you can eventually get it to work, open this flap. Put all your instructions and everything, and warranty, etc. So, first of all, I'll show you a bit of the contents. Real this here is your power cable. This is a component cable that they give you, but I believe this is for PlayStation 3 users. I'm not quite sure why you need the component cable, but um, it is for PlayStation 3 users anyway, so keep that handy. Very, very generous in this box. They actually give you not one HDMI cable, as you can see there, but two the pass-through. So you have two HDMI cables. This little bag, this is actually your uh, cable that you use to plug it into the computer, as you can see there. Um, not entirely sure what this is. The end kind of looks like a mobile phone end, if I can get this right. But uh, yeah, you have that. You've got your HD PVR software, which includes ArcSoft Showbiz. And obviously you've got all your main instructions there. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, the box. Just gonna shove this to one side. Okay, it is much smaller than the regular HD PVR, if I can come around there. I'm gonna show you, first of all, the front. Okay, here is what you all wanna look at. If my camera decides to focus at some point. There we go. Um, the whole Pog HD PVR 2 box. Uh, the front, very, very, very sleek. Um, it looks nice. It looks slimmer than the other HD PVR. There's the top of it there. If you've got your record button. It does apparently lag those, what I'm told, um, if you use that instead of your software. And on the back, what we have is your power port. This is to connect it to your computer with the HD, um, sorry, with the USB 2 to USB. This is for AV in. That must be what I was explaining earlier that I wasn't sure what it was. That's for AV in. We also have HDMI in and HDMI out. Much easier than component. You're going to be able to pass that through, um, and I'll show you in a second how to do it, but you're going to be able to pass that through straight from uh, your Xbox directly to your TV and everyone uses HD nowadays so everyone's happy. Okay for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to be demonstrating how to set this up using the Xbox. Um, I only have an Xbox but uh, PlayStation 3 should be fairly similar so obviously you're going to need the box here. You've got the power cord, HDMI cable number one, HDMI cable number two and obviously your USB cable that will pass through to your PC. Now, first of all, here's my Xbox. And very, very straightforward and simple. What you're gonna wanna do 
is take HDMI cable number one and pop that in your Xbox. I also use um, an audio setup. Well, I have uh, surround sound. Um, I use my Turtle Beaches as well. This might be very, very handy for some of you, but I use Turtle Beaches. And um, I also have, bear with me two seconds. In case you're wondering about Turtle Beaches, I have um, these uh, jumper cables here. All you have to do is, within this cable, you plug them in the back of, of here, where these two are, and then they just go in the jumper cables. And then at the end, here, you just plug your turtle beach, which is here, I've got the X12s, you just plug the green cable uh, here into this. That's really, really easy. And um, you've got your USB cable there, and you just plug it in the back. So I won't do a demonstration, a long drawn out demonstration for that, but, but that's how you do that. And um, I got these uh, these cables very, very easily um, with my, um, with this cable here. And this cable plugs into my, if you can see here, my surround sound, just here. So I won't show you any further in that but that's very, very easy to do if you need to set them up. I'm gonna leave them to one side for now. But I am gonna pop in my audio cable to the back. So, like so, let's pop that in there. Okay, we have HDMI cable end here. What I will say is a word of warning, when you're picking up your Xbox console, um, if it's plugged in and you have a touch sensitive one, doesn't it just annoy the hell out of you because it switches on automatically. It almost does it automatically. Anyway, that's just an, an annoyance for me. Um, what I'm gonna do is, this HDMI in here, do you know what, you can't really get this wrong because you have HDMI in and HDMI out. You really can't get this wrong. Although, for some reason, they seem to do it, that's how it should be. They seem to do it upside down, but you want this, actually you can get it wrong. Uh, if you put this HDMI cable from the Xbox console into the out, that's not gonna work. Put it in the in. Like, oh yeah, I've gotta turn it upside down, as I said. That is in your in port. Your out, think of it like this. In, in from the console, out, output to the TV. Think of it like that, you'll never go wrong. Um, your next bit is the next HDMI cable. What you wanna do, very, very simple. Plug your output upside down into HDMI out, which is the one on the right. Like so, okay? Right, now that is all set. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna assume, I'm just gonna pop this into my TV. I am gonna assume that everyone knows what HDMI looks like on their TV, but for the purpose of the demonstration, it's my TV. It's a Samsung, it's very nice. But I am gonna plug that in now. Okay, I prepared that for you off camera so you didn't have to see me in my shorts. Um, and what you're gonna need next is very, very self-explanatory, the power cable. So I'm just gonna plug it in. And again, I wanted to make this video as sort of foolproof as possible. So your power inlet is there. Like so. And you have the green light, actually you have a green and you can't see it very well there. There's a red LED just here. And um, I believe that uh, I believe that turns on when it's recording or if there's a problem, I'm not sure actually. Um, but yeah, HDPVI is starting to light up now. Um, I, I believe that's because there's no um, input from the console. So, 
The next step is to take a USB 2 end of this lead here. Camera doesn't want to zoom in today. Um, USB 2 end, like so. Pop it in. I mean, if you've done shapes when you're a kid, you'll you'll know exactly how that goes in. But that's popped into there. If you'd like to follow me around, I'll show you the next bit. Okay. Then you're gonna plug it into your computer. Like so. And the next bit, um, I will show you the next bit on my computer, just to prove that I can record from the computer. And I'll show you exactly what you need to do, how you need to set everything up. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go. Um, I will show you a quick capture test, just to show you, first of all, um, that I can do it. Um, stay tuned. My computer here, I have set it up basically the same way as I would set my Xbox up, uh, except that I am recording from the HDMI port on my computer. As you can see, there's a few settings here. I can't actually show you how to change them at the moment, but I am currently recording in MP4. Um, because I'm currently recording, um, and I'm not using Fraps or anything, I'm actually using the HD PBR. Um, because a lot of people have asked, you know, for different programs than Fraps and other things. HD PBR, I've been doing, I've done a test, and it works very fast recording in Minecraft on the PC as well. But um, what I'm going to show you now is a little bit more important. It's uh, I'm going to show you a little capture test of uh, my console. So here we are. I'm on my Xbox console, of course. And um, I'm just going to, for the purpose of this demonstration, select a game uh, to play for you. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's good, very, very good quality picture. It's in 1080p. Uh, no lag, no delay, uh, no problems uh, for me. Um, just for the purpose of this, I edited out the loading as well. Straight into the Minecraft world on Xbox, as you can see from the um, controls at the bottom left corner. Um, and as you can hear as well, there is, you know, no lag um, when I'm clicking on items, I'm picking them up and I'm hearing the sound effects straight away. It looks lush, I'll be honest. I know that Minecraft's not the best graphics to show you, but it absolutely looks lush. Um, I was just messing around in this video, but I kind of lolled a little bit because the fishing rod just came with me the whole way. And that was pretty funny. Um, I am going to do a Minecraft series very soon, so it's very apt that I uh, decided to play this game. I'm going to do the PC edition. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.